My name is Zaid Mason. I've been uh, with Harvest City Church for eight months now. My name is Sharon. I'm 16 and I've been in Harvest City since 2015 September. My name is Olua Tanyawa Fayoko and I've been in Harvest City Church for about a year. Corey Dansro and I've been coming to Harvest City for about four months now. My name is um, Olu Tony Fayoko. Um, I've been at uh, Harvest City for a year. I'm June and my family has been here for like eight years. Baptism to me is uh, just taking that next step in my faith journey, solidifying my dedication to God and, and showing Him that I'm faithful to Him. We're going in as like an old person coming as a new person, our lives are being transformed. Basically, burying the past and moving forward. I actually had a vision when I was thinking about if I want to do baptism or not. God told me that this is time, and He showed me a vision where I saw myself going under the water, but when I'm coming up, a, a, a part of me is actually underneath the water, and I'm coming out. A renewal kind of thing, like, like having your sin kind of get cleansed, I guess. Like, I think of what's gonna happen after I'm done. Like, if I'm gonna change or like, if anything else different's gonna happen. God really grabbed my attention when He introduced Himself to me and asked me if I would accept Him as, a, as my Lord and Savior. God really grabbed my attention when my brother drowned in the pool and then he had to be transported to Saskatoon. Uh, when I drowned and he kept, he showed his grace by keeping me alive. After the incident, I started to reflect back on what had happened. I knew there were things I still needed to achieve because I could have died that day, but he protected me. I think about following what God is asking me to do, not only just do, doing it for myself, also doing it for others, my friends and family and others that need help. And it's my duty now to, to introduce God to them the way I have found, because I was a non-believer, I was a lost person too. Building a stronger relationship with God and you know, giving your life to Christ, getting baptized and forward. Not I need him in my life because I I need I need to be you know saved I need to change from who I am right now. One of my favorite things about Jesus is that he does not judge me, and he always looks at me as his son. The fact that he loves us, and you can come to him anytime, speak to him, and repent and ask for forgiveness. He protects us and. He forgives us if we repent and with a humble heart. He's never busy, so like whenever I need him, like he's always there. I could just talk to him and he's always there for me. I can kind of talk to him, you know? And then I start thinking over my decisions again and I realized I shouldn't have said that, you know? I should kind of rethink my decisions on what I've been doing. My favorite thing about Jesus is how, how loving he is. When I look back off my past, I can see him there always protecting me. He's loving me and he was always there for me in my dark time. When, I when I'm looking back in the past now, I see him around me all the time.